Time now to check in with John, who's with the founder of Dante's Den and host of Animal Outtakes, Marsha Panucci. Marsha is here to talk to us about how to prepare your pet for the upcoming storm and what you can do during the storm. Yeah, Marsha, good to see you here today. Oh, yes. So I think the first thing we need to talk about are the, uh, the evacuation orders that were uh, issued today. Uh, if people are taking their pets to an evacuation uh, shelter, uh, what are they going to need to have with them? Well, I have been walking around with our hurricane guide here from ABC7, and of course you need a leash and some identification on the collar. If your dog or cat have a microchip, all the much better because right. there will be scanning that can be done, of course. Vaccination records, they're going to want to know. That's the, critical. That is very critical. The rabies, the leptospirosis, the DA2-HPP, all of those need to be brought up to date. But most of all, if your dogs are going to be very much stressed, yes. and I have some that are going to be stressed, and I know you do, John, yes, absolutely. Uh, that uh, give a call to your veterinarian now before mm -hmm. they close that office mm -hmm. and try to get some very, very safe meds. Uh, it can be herbal. It can be the uh, chemical, but whatever you do, try to keep your pets as quiet as they possibly can. That's important. And one more thing, always bring your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're going to want to take a selfie uh, of you and your dog right. just in case you get separated or mm -hmm. something happens and uh, the collar is not where it should be. That phone will save you and save your dog. And in some shelters, they will actually take a picture of for you and put that picture on the kennel and if your picture doesn't match the picture on the kennel right. they won't allow you, you access you're to the not going to get that dog That's or that, right. that cat and you know uh, we have to talk about keeping yourself as uh, less stressful as you possibly can because as you know John yeah. they feed off of us yeah. so if they feel our anxiety then they're going to start feeding off of it, and we absolutely want to keep them as quiet as we possibly can. Of course, bring food when you go to the shelters, because the shelters do not have food, and water. You certainly want as much filtered water as you can possibly absolutely. get your hands on. Good tips, Marcia. Thank you so very much for that. Thank you. Appreciate it.